Hi guys, welcome to Irene Tarot Card. I'm Ren, or Irene. So this week I painted this surrealist piece um, called Bittersweet Sky after a poem I wrote 12 years ago. And um, it took me about a week to complete. I actually had a few days off painting in the last couple of weeks. Um, my, because I was just saying last week how now I should probably not need any procedures um, anytime soon. And it turned out that my last blood test, my liver markers were all off the charts and I had to have scans and stuff. And um, my specialist was worried that I have a stone in the bile duct. I've already had my gallbladder out. I was actually scheduled for a bowel resection anyway, and I had a bunch of pain. I thought it's just Crohn's pain until I turned bright yellow and um, had bloods and my liver, liver markers were off the charts. Um, and it turned out that I'd already passed some stones on my own at home. So because I was scheduled to have a surgery, they said they'd take my gallbladder out. That was all good and fine. They took my gallbladder out, stitched me back up, and I was getting sicker and sicker by the day. By day three, day four, they did a met call in the hospital. They wheeled me into surgery at two in the morning, opened me up again. Bile had leaked everywhere. It turned out the bile duct was still leaking everywhere. Um, so it was a complete nightmare. But anyway, I thought, oh great, here we go, another stone. Even though I haven't had a lot of pain, so I didn't think it was a stone. And thankfully, there's no stone. I've had the scans and everything's fine. It's just probably the medications that I've been taking for Crohn's. So we've reduced those and hopefully now everything will be fine as far as the liver. We'll test again in a week and see how we go. But anyway, so I had a few days off um, and I um, also had a few things on this week. We had a baby shower, we had a 40th birthday, um, which was yeah, a big drinking night followed by a hangover day. Um, we had some dinners and things like that. Went to the beach, did a few things as you'll see later in the video. Um, so yeah, it took me about a week to complete. I actually really like this piece, not like the last piece, which I didn't like. Um, but yeah, the the title, Bittersweet Sky, 12 years ago I was really sick. I was in and out of hospital late times the year Jazz started prep. And um, I had 70 centimeters resected. That was my first bowel resection. That was my first full open surgery in and out of hospital and I didn't want to take painkillers or anything like that and doctors would just at me they're like you're in agony you can't eat you can't hold anything down I have I was having bowel obstructions pretty much every time I ate anything until they finally resected the parts that were so severely strictured that I had like a pinhole um, for food to pass through so it was a really tough time in my life and I wrote a poem and because I'm posting poems in reels, I thought, oh, that's a poem that, yeah, is quite deep and meaningful to me. And I'd actually like to do a painting that's kind of um, the, I guess, um, bittersweet sky that one might think of when they picture a bittersweet sky, I suppose. But yeah, so with that, um, I got started on the painting, starting with the sky, of course. And yeah. So this week, the day of the baby shower, um, one of my best friends and I, Joe, decided to spend some time together in the morning before we went out to lunch and we went to an adult, um, I guess we call them sex shops, but 
um, an adult store where they have all sorts of adult paraphernalia um, for a few laughs and a bit of a look around. Okay. What am I looking at? I don't know. <laughs> and they're hot. Fetish. <laughs> Some of them are so gorgeous though. Got the red one with the G string. <laughs> oh, oh, I love black in everything though. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't even. <laughs> <laughs> We also had a four course dinner with my best friend of 20 something years, Teresa, which was lovely. It was a really nice meal. We're definitely going to go back to this place. It was great food, great service. Absolutely loved it. Then I worked some more on the painting, laid in some of the mountains and the tree line and um, yeah, a little bit of surrounds, sort of where the mid-ground and foreground will go. We also had another beach day because it is the season for being down on the beach. So we went down the Great Ocean Road again, um, but to a beach just past Aries Inlet, which is lovely. It was really nice. There wasn't a lot of people. Had lunch down there, packed a nice salad, and that was really lovely. Then I started work on the water in this piece.
then I spent some time in the garden. I'm harvesting so much from the garden at the moment. Like in a single day, I can pick 30, 40 cherry tomatoes, 10, 12 cucumbers. I'm handing it to family and um, it's just so much and so, so quickly. Like one day to the next, we'll have cucumbers go from this big to full grown, um, which has been great. So I spent some time in the garden, planted some pumpkin seedlings so that they'll be ready in autumn, fall. And um, yeah. So many. I'll have to take some to mum. Alright. Probably make a salad for the barbecue anyway. Can make a tomato salad. Mum likes the zucchinis really big to crumb them. They are some big ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take these two off now. There's another big one at the back too. There's lots of little ones too, which is good. I'll put some in some dishes this week. I picked a dozen just yesterday. And I have to climb in behind again. Even if these don't take, the other ones are enough anyway. But there's a lot of roots here from these bushes. So with everything that I'm picking from the garden, I've been making a lot of salads still. Um, this week, one of the salads I made was one of our absolute favourites. Jay absolutely loves this salad. It's roast beetroot and rare beef balsamic glaze salad. So I thought I'd get a bit of footage of that. It's just basically throwing whatever salad veg you have. I really like to add capsicum and 
radishes, bit of red onion on some greens, and then cooking some eye fillet. I like to use eye fillet so it's quite tender. Um, some beef and then roasting a beetroot whole and then you just cut it up into wedges, put it on the plate with the salad, reduce down a little bit of um, balsamic vinegar and brown sugar, tiny bit of salt and um, yeah slice your beef and add it all onto the plate and then crumble a bit of feta cheese on there. It's absolutely beautiful, so easy to make, highly recommend it. Then I did some more work on the water and a little bit of work on the mid-ground. Then we had a big catch up at mum's, um, making some Hungarian street food called langos. They're like, um, it's gonna sound strange, but it's actually really delicious. They're like fried donuts, but they're savory and crispy on the outside. Yeah, light and fluffy in the middle. And we rub garlic on them, or we put sour cream and cheese on them. Um, lots of salt and they are absolutely delicious. Everyone who's tried them loves them. I know it sounds really strange but we had some of those and then some drinks throughout the afternoon, a bit of a catch up and then we had a huge spread for dinner which was really nice. Langos. Uh, yummy. <laughs> They said, you know, they're very cheap. And uh, she. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no, mine, I buy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was getting all the school snacks and everything like I used to when she was going. And I packed Jay's like lunches anyway. So now I'm like, oh, what will Jazz eat? Salads, wraps, things like that, you know? Again. Back to packing school stuff. I'm excited. I'm like, oh, my little girl's going to school. You're going to be sick. Second. 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 Second.
champagne, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's fruit. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's fruit. Yeah. yeah. Too sweet. Yeah. I don't often say that, but but it's it's like a but you drink like cruises. a beach juice. But yeah, they, yeah. they're different. Cruises it's like are a, so much sweeter. Beach juice, but yeah, cruises are sweeter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bubbles in it. Yeah. But if you wanna, if you wanna. Hi, and Andy. Hi, Andy. Hello. Yeah. And his friends, and all the paints, what friends you got, and what they do. You left. Cost me what was it? One thousand nine hundred dollars for nothing. Mm. You gotta to wanna to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's like anything. If you don't but want to. He asked me, you know, what I said, you know what? Mm. Electrical, you know, uh, electrician. Mm. If you do it, you can make you can make my Then I laid in the foreground and the foreground reads I worked on. Then also added some highlights to everything to complete this piece, which I'm really happy with. I'm glad it turned out the way I kind of pictured in my mind. It's nice when things actually work the way you want them to work. So that was good. This week, I'm really enjoying the albums that I'm listening to on the 500 Greatest Albums list. So that's nice too. Um, listen to some blues and some random things I've never heard of, but it's been enjoyable. And this coming week, I'm not sure what I'm going to paint as of yet. I'm not sure what I'll be working on. I've got a couple things to do. The restaurant where I display some of what my work I'm going into and we're going to um, take some paintings in there. I've got some not so enjoyable appointments coming up, like a dentist appointment, which yay, who loves the dentist, not me. And um, yeah, so there's, there's probably a couple things that I'll get done throughout the week while I'm um, painting something, but what that will be yet, I have no idea. So stay tuned. And with that, um, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, if you could like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. 
um, and I really hope that you'll join me in the next video where I paint something that I haven't decided upon yet. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye. That's just weird. Like